I made you some eggs. Okay. I can't eat those eggs. Why? They're not deviled. <laughs> I'm done. What's up, guys? My name's Rena, and welcome to. Welcome back to Seduce Me the Otome. So, Michaela Laws released a dating sim involving Malix for Seduce Me. And I am actually very excited to see this because she released it on April Fools. And I was like, okay, maybe the website is not legit. But then, I, of course, I had to check to make sure. And I realized, oh, maybe she just made this game because it's April Fool's. But, um, anyway, I'm kind of expecting a lot of funny shit to happen here. So, let's just start. Also, I apologize. Excuse me. I apologize that I could not record or post this on April Fool's because I was away out of state. So I couldn't really do much. I didn't have my equipment and whatever. And plus I was with family. So <laughs> behold, a passion left untold. A love of flame burning and bold. When given a choice, the girl seeks sin. Oh boy. Now feast your eyes on the passion within. <laughs> oh my god! Shut up! I'll kill you dead! <laughs> no! <laughs> Cry! Oh my god! I can't! I love you too! I'm a good devil! <laughs> Yay! Kiss me, please! And let me touch your tail, kiss me, bye. <laughs> oh no! No touching the tail! That's forbidden! I can't, I'm done. <laughs> okay, I know Michaela, and I know that's not it. Let's fucking start this up again. Oh my god, see? I knew it! Alex, I made you some eggs! Okay. I can't eat those eggs! Why? They're not deviled! <laughs> I'm done. Seriously! <laughs> Michaela, please! No, that can't be it. Nope. Malix, whose shoes are these? <laughs> Those are mine! Oh my god, Michaela, don't tell me you just. I'm thinking of Sebastian right now for Black Butler because it is true, Demon Form. You're fucking heels. Michaela, you did not. They look expensive. They are. They're Prada. <laughs> yes. Oh, I <laughs> no, there's more. The, of course, it's Michaela. What is that? My fiddle. I'm going on a trip. Where are you going? Georgia. <laughs> no, there's more. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, there's literally nothing else. So, Michaela's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love Malix, but no. No, there's there's more. There's more. Why are you here? I was it. Close the game. No! Michaela, you're not tricking me this time. Seriously. That was the entire April Fool's gag. Now close the damn game and no! I'm not gonna listen to you. What are you expecting? I'm just gonna repeat the messages over and over until you actually close the game. I know there's nothing special, it's just gonna be like pretend or whatever, but I'm just gonna keep going because I can't. Test me. I will, actually! Are you here? Close the game. Seriously. Close the dab. Why are you still here?! <laughs> because I can't! What are you waiting for?! 
I don't know, something nice that is something special that happened. I don't know. I'm not expecting much. <laughs> Close the game. No. <laughs> You're being cheeky. Stop it. Or, perhaps, perhaps, you are waiting for something. Gee, I wonder what that could be. And you expect me to give it to you? Not really, no. Not likely. Still going. I doubt you deserve such a thing. A measly attempt for secrets beyond a joke? You cannot prove you have earned such a gift. And yet you persist. You are a stubborn human. Shut up. How can you possibly prove that you deserve this secret? Very well. A test. Oh. For you to be here, you must know of the ten-year war that ravaged the Abyssal Plains. Oh yeah. There was one being, however, not native of the demon world, who observed us as a spy. Tell me his name. Malix, a high general of Satan's army. His time in the demon world did not last, however. Yeah, he... he died. <laughs> Give me the true name of the one who fought the general. Was this Amaris? Right? Lord of Dragons, Amaris. Amaris now serves the heart as one of the five seats. But the true question remains. Is Malix dead or alive? I don't know, alive? Very well. Observe through prisoner eyes in the ancient Bastille what fate has in store. Oh! Love, lovely. Lovely. Well, great. Okay, let's just start. Okay. Hey, useless. Wake up! Oh, we're playing Balix! Okay, great. You wake up. You're in a cell, lying on the ground. Beside you is some sort of red-skinned man with horns and scars over his face. Oh, wait, no. That's us. We're not Malix. Okay, I'm, j I'm just... I don't even know anymore. Ugh, finally! You sleep like the fucking dead! Took me forever to wake your stupid ass up. You speak... You dip fuck it speak where am I who are you of course I know who the fuck this is but I'm just gonna ask where am I <laughs> I knew it I figured you'd be human if you're that ignorant of your surroundings then you must be human I am human shut up <laughs> oh fuck off what is that oh fuck off <laughs> using foul language to try and be tough huh <laughs> okay what a weak ass. I use... I use foul language all the time, so fuck you too. Gah! What the? You see a tray of food dropped onto the floor in the red-skinned man's cell. A woman stands at the door of the cell, pa patiently staring. Um... Hi! Meal. Eat. Despite giving the woman a nasty glare, the man quickly eats. His tray is taken after. The woman walks over and drops another tray into your cell. Water in a bottle and a small loaf of bread. Well, thank you for the kind gesture, even though I'm... trapped in this prison. Human. Meal. Eat. Thanks? You eat the food. You I mean, it's food, so... It's bread and water. Passable. Smart one. The woman walks away, leaving you and the man alone. So, humans can get locked up in here. I'd never guess that. <sighs> Why am I here? Where am I? You keep to your... Well, of course I can't ask that again before he thinks we're dumb. But of course he wouldn't know why we're here. I'm just gonna keep to myself. <sighs> You're gonna get annoying real quick with that silent shit. Shut up! I have nothing to ask you! Just think that I'd get dropped into the ancient Bastille. Didn't think it was real. <laughs> you must have fucked up real bad to end up in here. 
Especially next to the likes of me. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I am innocent. You're... I don't know what the fuck I did, man. Well, whatever it is gave you a one-way ticket here. Sucks to be you. I don't know about you, but you're here too, so... My guess? You probably got caught up in some turf war in the demon district. Which means... You're a demon hunter. Well... Ex-demon hunter now! <laughs> oh boy. That would explain your tattoo, at least. Only try-hard demon hunters get that shit. The man points at your arm. You look down and see the tattoo of a candle wrapped in a barbed wire stretched over your forearm. When did I get that? The flame at the wick moves as if it had life on your skin. You touch it, you simply just touch it? Sure. Your finger taps the flame. It's warm. Warmer than your body temperature. Oh. Okay. The flame goes out as you pull your finger away. Then comes back to life after a couple of seconds. So, from the expression on your face, I can tell that you don't remember anything. Figures. Angels must have tried to wipe your memory. That explains why we can't remember shit. <laughs> you instinctively raise an eyebrow, but before you can react, a set of footsteps catch your attention. Two large stone suits of armor flank the woman, flank the woman at the man's cell door. The door swings open. Lashes. Uh... Are you kidding me? Suck my balls. <laughs> ah. Oh no. The man moves to stand, but the suit of armor march- But the suits of armor march in and grab him by the arms, lifting him up. What? Afraid of getting devil dick in your mouth? Oh god. Not afraid. You wouldn't be the first. Follow. Bye, Alex! <laughs> the man is dragged out, disappearing into the darkness of the space around the cells. You end up alone for a while. Looking around, there is very little light. The bars are made of strange, a strange heavy steel, and the walls and floor are firm stone. Yet you cannot recall why you were there in the first place. After a moment, you close your eyes and sleep with nothing better to do. Yay, sleep! Get back here! Don't lose them! Flashes of light burn in your dreams. The sounds of a storm echo behind your eyes. Wind and rain rushes against and past your body as you feel yourself run in an unknown direction. Suddenly, you stop and catch your breath, enduring your lungs burning for relief. Shit! Where did they go? You idiot! You hear your heartbeat wildly, your heartbeat wildly in your head. Fear takes hold of your body. Your mind screams, did we really lose them? Oh, you wake up with a heavy gasp. You are still in your cell. Nothing has changed. Your body is uninjured. You wake up in time to see the, the man thrown back into his cell with fresh scars and lashes on his body. Black, tar-like blood oozes from the gashes. <laughs> you got a real ass whooping, didn't you? Rest. Piss off. The woman turns and leaves. Hey, how come this shithead doesn't get lashed? Ha ha ha, cause fuck you. The woman stops and looks at you, oh no. Hunter, awaiting trial. Oh. Oh boy. She then turns to the man. You, found guilty by the hearth. Punishment to be delivered daily. Hmm, yeah, that makes sense. Are you shitting me? Ah! What do you mean? What do you mean? The woman stares at you in silence before walking away. Hey, answer my question! I wasn't... I was kind of expecting that, actually, but... Okay. The man picks up a nearby pebble and chucks it in the direction the woman had gone. I mean, I would have done the same, too. Stupid bitch. Ugh. The man slowly sits up and stretches, releasing a groan of pain. Are you... <laughs> I gotta, you know, are you okay, dude? Mm, why do you care? I'm just asking, I'm bored. You glare and cross your arms. The man rolls his eyes. I'm fine. I'm used to this shit. You have to be when you're a devil. 
Lashes like that are a typical Wednesday in hell. The man runs his fingers along one of his gashes, spitting on the floor at the sight. So, you're awaiting trial, huh? <laughs> Whatever you did must have been really bad. Eh? Uh, yeah. You tilt your head in confusion. The man looks at you and spits at your feet before laughing. And you still can't remember a fucking thing. Looks like you're stuck with whatever they charge you for. Wouldn't surprise me if they just blame a genocide on you or something. Ew. You try and recall your dream. Yet nothing appears in your mind. You don't even remember your name. You stump over and the man the bleh, bleh, The man laughs at the sight. At least you're here so I can laugh at something. It's not as fun laughing at a wall. Piss off. Why are you- why are you here anyway? Yeah, why are you here? Well, I probably know why he's here, but... The man stares at you for a moment before cracking his knuckles in some display of pride. Of course! I was on a job for Satan himself. Scouting out a war, you know? Adult shit, the like crap you baby hunters do. God, I can just roll my eyes right now. Some part of you ignites in anger at his words, but you hold yourself back. He continues. I just got cocky and picked a fight with a guy I had beef with. Have beef with. Should have known he would have pulled something out of his ass. Ah, uh, you mean Sam? Kicked your ass good. The man kicks the cell bars in front of him, letting the echo ring in the seemingly empty dark hall. And now that fucker is the king of the demon world and I'm stuck here. Fucking great. <laughs> Even I thought he was dead, you know? <laughs> he can't help but smirk at him being angry. The man looks over and glares. Fuck you! Okay. Hey, that same fucker's gonna judge you at the hearth like he did me, so I wouldn't start laughing, shithead. I mean, you have a point. Yeah. The man jabs his thumb towards his back, showing and reminding me of the lashes he had to endure. The man groans before lying on the ground on his stomach. Fuck this, I'm sleeping. Okay, good night. He closes his eyes and suddenly you feel alone once again. He probably needs the rest. You, however. Examine the bars, examine the floor, examine the man. Uh, examine the bars. The steel bars stand strong in their places. Leaning in closer, you see that they have small carved out emblems designed Emblem designs along their length. Yeah, I can see it, actually. For some reason, you know what they are. Oh. Oh. Remember, when you capture a prisoner like this creature, always lock him in a cage with holy steel. Oh, we're locked in a holy steel cage? Oh, shit. Why? Can't we just use shackles or chains with holy magic imbued in them? You can. But the most efficient way to seal beam with magic is to use holy steel. After all, it is forged specifically for us hunters. Memories of a past lesson flood in your mind. Flood your mind. You recall seeing a child, injured and whimpering, lying in a cell made of the same steel. Oh no! The child crawled into itself and mewed weakly. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy. Oh. So, what do we do with it? That's up to the angels to decide. My guess is that they'll kill it. No! It's just a child! <laughs> I'd put it out of its misery myself. It's not our place to do so. Come. You felt... pity. Yeah, I would. You remember your heart squeezing in sadness for the child? Yeah, that would be me. You vaguely recall being pulled away from the cage before feeling your mind talk you back into reality. You once again look at the bars of your own cell before sighing and lying down yourself. And sleep. Darkness greets you in your mind and all you can do is let it hold you. Your sleep is dreamless, solemn, and temporarily silent. Images of a city full of demon kind and humans with weapons plague you. You cannot place names or meanings to them. Yet you feel longing to return. The movie in your mind ke keeps you at peace. Only the sound of a boot slamming against the steel bars wake you, wakes you. What? Hey, piss it. 
Food's here. Wake up. Oh, thanks. You awake and feel your body ache from the abrupt awakening. Yeah, fuck you for waking me up. However, the man is right. The woman, holding a tray of food, stands in front of yourself. Water in a bottle and a small loaf of bread. Human. Meal. Eat. I will still eat the food. It's possible the tray is taken. <laughs> so, remember anything yet? Or are you still as dull as a rock? I remember... <laughs> I remember a little. Fuck off! <laughs> I wish. Uh, you say nothing and ignore him. I mean... I would just say fuck off, but like... I mean, he did tell us about why he got captured here, so... As mean as Malik is, might as well. Really? <laughs> I doubt it's much. You tell him about your dream, trying to describe the beings in it and your connection to it. Yep, called it Demon Hunter. My guess, Barbosa Clan. You raise an eyebrow and open your mouth to ask what he means, but he interrupts you. Barbed wire on a candle. It's their gang symbol. Every member has that stupid tattoo. Uh, uh, oh no. Soon enough, the woman returns with her two stone suits of armor, barging in and taking up the men in their grasps. He doesn't even fight as they carry him away into the dark of the hall, vanishing into, bl into the black. Bye, Malix. Again. You begin to wonder, will that be your fate? You have no recollection of what you had done. You've only seen glimpses of memories, vague and fragmented. How are you going to defend yourself? Were you going to be allowed to? You wince as you recall your heart squeezing at the sight of a child in a cage. Did that child have something to do with it? You find yourself affirming the suspicion. What did the child have to do with your imprisonment? You sigh and lean back against the wall of your cell. There's no escape, nor any chance of escaping punishment should you try. All you can do is think. A man, a child, a prison. Huh. Maybe if we thought more about the child, we'll regain something? You have to figure out your past. You close your eyes and try to recall the child in the cage. Your mind fights back, a sharp pain digging into your nerves and trying to push you back. Oh no, I think the angels did something to us. Push on. Push on! You need to figure out the truth overcomes all. Soon the pain makes you dizzy and you become lost in a hazy vision. Oh no! You sit with face faceless comrades, eating food that is blurred from unrecognition. Good job on finding that thing. I'm surprised the angels missed it. Angels aren't that powerful and observant. That's why we exist, remember? You remain in silence, unable to speak in memory and in retaliation to the vision. Still, sucks that they gotta kill it. It's not like it has to be born, you know. Oh no! Oh, don't start that crap again. It's an abomination! You're right, but can't help thinking that way, you know. It's a kid. Kid or not, there are rules. Your mind begins to scream out in protest. A child in abomination? How? Why? They're not an abomination at all! You still don't reply in your memory, despite your soul yelling to do something, say anything. Until you lose track of time and are returned. <coughs> Excuse me. Until you lose track of time and are returned back to reality. Soon enough, the man returns with more fresh lashes adorning his skin. He is tossed into his cell, landing with a heavy thud. It's almost like tossing a dead body. <coughs> You grow weak. You fucking wish, bitch. The woman does not reply, leaving the man alone. However, she stops by your jail cell. Trial tomorrow. Oh, no. And she leaves without any further words. You turn to the man, seeing him sit up with a painful groan. If that demon shit stain thinks his little punishment is gonna stop whatever hell has planned, he has another thing coming. What does that mean? 
I gotta talk to him. If I just ignore him, we're not gonna get anywhere. What does that mean? The man looks over at you, listening before grinning at your question. Satan's got a plan. I'm just part of it. Of course he does. You grimace and ask how can that be? How that can be? The man laughs. Like I tell you, you'd probably rat me out during your trial. You jam your fist against the bars between yourselves, causing him to stop laughing and glare at you. You're not scary. If anything, you should be afraid of me. Some form of fear runs up your spine at his words. <laughs> his words are weighed in some hidden truth, flagging warning in your mind. The man sits back and rolls his eyes, now ignoring you. Silence reigns over yourselves. He ignores your existence, tending to his gashes. You became lost in your thoughts, remembering the words the woman spoke to you. Your trial is tomorrow? How long is, until t is it until tomorrow? Time is lost here. No clock or sun gives you solace or indication of what time it is. You can't even rely on your body clock, lost between the vague information you know and the inconsistent sleep. What could be in what would be in store for you? The child. You did something with that child. You could feel your gut agree with you. Maybe the child has something to do with Sam? God, I hope that's not his child, because if it is, I, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> oh, no. What did you do? Did you kill it? Did you... You trying to remember what crap you did? You ignore him. Your focus is on yourself. Yeah, fuck you. You hold your head in thought, trying to collect your memories and piece them together with your theories. If you're going to be judged, you deserve to know what you did to deserve whatever judgment you're going to receive. After a couple of breaths, the man in the opposite cell growls. Uh, fuck it. What? Before you can look over, a hand suddenly stretches between the bars and wraps itself over your throat. What are you doing? You grip it, digging your nails into the wrist as you, as you look over at the man who has you in his grasp. I'm tired of waiting. Oh boy. You claw at his grip, but quickly enough you feel flames lick your lick in your nerves and your mind begins to piece things together on its own. The bars begin to burn brightly in resistance, but his hand burns with powerful black flames, only growing darker with each second he defines. What was he doing? Is he trying to help me? The pain of the heat is enough to make you pass out. Oh, thanks! Thanks for making me pass out. Your shift is over. Is it? I'll relieve you. Go home. You don't want to. What are you? You're not leaving. <coughs> oh. Not without the child. Uh -huh. What are you doing? It's going with you. You take the child and run- Oh! We saved the child! Through the rain. Through the demon infested city. You keep running. Hand in hand. The Cambion is loose! Find it! Holy shit, the angels are gonna be pissed! Then why are we standing here? Let's go! The hunt begins. You rush through alleys and under bridges, avoiding the smell of feathers or the sound of your colleagues. The child, frightened, holds tight to your side in the darkness. You are seen and chased a couple of times, but the shadows manage to bring you back out of sight. Where would you go? What could you do? You don't know, but you would not let the child be killed. Abomination or not, you would not see it die. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be something I would do. The tattoo on your arm burns, beckoning you to return by force. You are certain your skin will darken from the heat of the flame. Still, you run and hide. Your scent and aura hidden by the musk of the demon city you live in. A needle in a pile of even more needles. You cannot leave the city knowing the risks. You remain in the dark for days, weeks, scourging for food and keeping your head low while hiding the child in the corners of the city. You sit, feeling the shadows warning you that the comfort of their darkness is only temporary. You can't keep the child safe for long. The child places a hand on your knee in naive confusion and concern. You are both starving, unable to find even a scrap of food that week. This was a mistake. 
Was it? You looked at the child, seeing their innocence burn in their gaze. It was no mistake to save such a being, but it was a mistake to keep them with you. You simply smile and pat their head before standing and guiding them to the city square. Where she lived. One knock on her door, and you are relieved of your charge. You realize that the rules of the world demand this child's death. Uh-oh. You persist. A child does not deserve to die. This child is a Cambian. A monstrosity. Yet you save them. You feel no remorse. Very well. This child will be brought to someone who can care for them properly and consume their human scent. The child vanishes in a cloud of smoke without letting you say goodbye. You, however, will be judged by the hearth in exchange. Disrupting the peace and resisting your keeper will most likely result in your oblivion. Oh boy. The world fades to black. Before your eyes open back to reality. Oh boy. You feel air pump through your lungs, no longer strangled by the man's hand. Your vision clears to see the man burning in his cell. Instinctively, you stare in fright at what is happening. Seeing the man grin from ear to ear, however, makes your concern freeze in your soul. Oh no. It worked. It fucking worked! <laughs> I knew I still had a link back to hell. Guess humans aren't so useless after all. I do. Ah, okay. What did he mean? The man turns to you and winks, licking his lips. Oh boy. Thanks for your generous contribution, human. Thanks to you and your magic, I managed to light a fuse in the universe's most fireproof prison. Oh. What the hell did he mean? As you think that, you're, you feel your body begin to burn. You instinctively attempt to re scream out, looking down to see your skin slowly burn away into ash. Watching the man, his skin begins to burn and turn to ash as well. Yet he handles it as if it feels like nothing. Now I can regenerate now and get back to work. That dragon fuck didn't think of that! Uh-oh. You reach out between the bars, trying to understand as you burn. The pain is unbearable, but you fi feel a final finality in your spirit. You would burn away by some sort of spell. And it was all his fault. As for you, consider it a mercy kill. Mercy? No, it's not mercy. I'm gonna die. You can, you feel yourself go limp and can only stare as the man burns away with an insane laugh. Why? The pain intensifies. You writhe in pain. Until at last, you feel nothing. And ending mercy killing. Oh boy. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was not the good ending or whatever, but I was actually not expecting any of that, honestly. <laughs> uh, well, I'm pretty sure there's more endings, but unfortunately, I can't really explore anymore. So, we're just going to leave it at that. <sighs> well... Congrats, Michaela. That was actually pretty good. I was actually just expecting some April, more April Fool shit, but you got me. You got me good. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is actually great so far. I'm gonna play this again on my free time to maybe try get all the endings. But for now, I'm just gonna stop it here. Okay, guys, don't ask me to play this game again because I'm actually not going to play it again for YouTube. I'm just going to do it on my own free time. Because I've got to try and find out how to get the, endings by, uh, the other endings by myself. I think there's four endings. I think. Maybe. I'm going to have to find it myself. But, um, anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like to see more of my videos, then click subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.